everyone, welcome back to Biology in a Box. Today we will learn more about our tactile sense or our sense of touch. We know that our sense of touch can help us determine what surfaces feel like. But can your sense of touch help you determine what an object is when you cannot see the object? In this exercise, we will use our sense of touch to identify mystery objects. Now let's further explore our tactile senses. First, form a line with the other students to go towards the front of the classroom. When it's your turn, go to the front of the classroom and place your hands behind your back. Your teacher will place an object in your hand for you to feel. But you cannot look at the object. After feeling the object, quietly go back to your desk and do not talk with your classmates. Silently think about what the object you may have been holding was. Have you felt something similar before? What could it be? After everyone has had the opportunity to feel the object, your teacher will pull the class to see what everyone thought they were holding. Your teacher will make a list of the different objects the class says. Next, you will discuss with your classmates what you felt and which object you think it was. Finally, your teacher will show the object to the class. Was it what you thought it was? Did you get it wrong? Now we will repeat this game, but with a twist. This time, you will see each of the objects before your teacher ever puts them in your hand. First, divide into groups of four, and your teacher will give you a container called the white box. The white box has 11 objects inside. A cork, a marble, a cotton ball, a rubber band, a crayon, a paper clip, a poker chip, a penny, a toothpick, a rubber ball, and a metal ball. carefully at each of these objects and write down some words you could use to describe the items. Some words you can use are shiny, smooth, rough, or round. These special words are called characteristics or attributes. Pay special attention to the shapes or geometric characteristics of the objects. Is the object ball shaped, flat, rectangular, or round? Do they feel smooth, rough, Soft or hard? Are some of the objects heavier than the other objects? Use two of the words or characteristics to include in your chart. You will make a chart that looks something like this. Sort the items you have in your white box based on these two different characteristics. Then write down the objects that match each characteristic in each column. Next, you will repeat this. You will think of two more characteristics and make another chart like the one we just did and sort your items again. Discuss your characteristics with your classmates and teacher. Repeat the mystery object tactile game a second time with your new knowledge of the objects that your teacher could possibly give you. Again, discuss the characteristics of the object with your classmates. After everything has been discussed, the teacher will show the object to the class. Did you get it right? Discuss with your classmates which version of the game you thought was easier. Was it easier the first time around without knowing any of the objects? Or was it easier the second time around when you knew each of the objects? Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed learning with Biology in a Box's White Box.